the next episode on the ATF server. So, yeah, <laughs> these uh, past few episodes have been pretty rough. Uh, as I discovered in the last episode, I actually had way too many clips uh, to make just, you know, your average 20-minute episodes. So, uh, the rest of the clips have been pushed into this video, and that's why we're getting an early upload. It's, you know, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday upload today. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys, well, in just a moment. Alright, I just came over to the village here to see, just because I was trying to figure out where I wanted to put the mine, and, uh, I mean, we obviously have ourselves plenty of food over here if we needed to eat, uh, or whatever, but, uh, we're gonna be taking all the villagers anyway, uh, for the villager breeder, or at least most of them, so that hopefully our villager breeder works wonderfully, but it's not gonna, the villager breeder is gonna be, like, over that way, I believe. Um... So that means that this village will be mostly empty, and that's a bit of a lighting bug. Can I fix that? Maybe if I do that... There we go. Alright. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, so... <clears throat> uh, this village will be mostly empty, you know, we might have a couple villagers here and there. Um, but I figured, that what's, the, what's uh, to waste a good village? So, what I would like to do is turn this into a mining village so instead of having just like a little mining hut like I would uh like I would normally do uh, I guess you guys wouldn't know what I would normally do but but uh, I would normally just create like a little hut you know a little hole going into the ground and uh, as far and then as far as I get down to the ground uh, once I get down to y equals 11 then I just start my mine there but I think it'd be nice to have like an actual little village where you have like a little mine that like sort of tunnels down nicely in a in a way and so I think I'm gonna figure that out I'm gonna figure out some sort of design to do that and we'll be on our way alright <clears throat> so I've uh, dug out the hole I've uh, got a little mining outpost here and uh, yeah <laughs> so this is how it looks um, I actually don't really have too much to say but I just thought I'd give you guys an update here uh, here, I was hearing some mobs over here, so I'm thinking that there's probably a cave around here. Uh, which wouldn't surprise me, to be completely honest. But yeah, so, this is, a, this is the design I went for. I mean, this is, it's a pretty simplistic design. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a mining town type thing, you know. Uh, and it's, it's supposed to look like it, so. You know, you, you go down here and just, like, dig this out a few layers and just keep going like this, and just get make our way down uh, slowly to level 11 and whatnot and maybe create our own little caverns and make things sort of more rounded off put in some stone slabs or something or cobblestone slabs just to sort of roughen things up a little bit and and whatnot uh, I think that would make things look pretty good uh, right now everything looks pretty I don't know I don't want to say crap because I don't want to insult my own my own building ability, but at the same time, I don't. I'm definitely no. Uh, I'm no Grian uh, or Flanks, who is one of the members here on the server. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, <clears throat> uh, I guess I'm gonna go get cracking. I've actually want got to get some mining done because I need some resources. Uh, but other than that, um, I'll see you guys soon. All right, so. <clears throat> Here's the mining area now. Uh, added a few chests and got a crafting table, a few furnaces here just for quick and easy smelting. I added a couple torches there and I started uh, digging down here. And but I'm pretty much done the the tunnel downwards anyway, the staircase. Like there's definitely some stuff I can do going down here. Some some sort of design I can put in the walls and the floor. Maybe put some slabs here and there to make uh, walking a little bit more smooth and. Uh, give it a bit of a design. Um, I've got a couple chests down here now too because I noticed, uh, and as you can see this is sort of the uh, the man-made cave that I've done, but uh, I have those chests there because I've noticed that I had to go up and down quite a bit uh, transporting the resources that I was picking up and uh, I figured it might as well just start putting my resources in these chests because um, it's going to be a pain to have to go back up and down all the time. So as you can see, it's a, a fairly big room here, uh, and I'd want to go deeper, but this is the level that we're going to be mining at. So the idea that I have is that we're going to have 
uh, one strip mine going that way, one that way, and then one going that way. And I'm going to have like some form of bridge, probably with the spruce wood that we've been collecting um, when we were building the wall up there. Uh, we're going to have a bridge that goes all the way straight like this, and over that way, and that way for the other two strip mines. Um, and I'm going to dig this down to basically bedrock level. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, in the process, too, of mining down this way, I found a spider spawner, which is basically like a you know, that's essentially a godsend for, for our mob spawners, because uh, right up here is the spider spawner, which means that we've got ourselves pretty much an infinite uh, string supply for our bows and whatnot uh, to make the dispensers, which will be really useful. Uh, we need plenty of dispensers for the mob spawner, so um, the mob spawners, uh, I should say. And so those are going to be a pain to make, but with that spider spawner, it's going to make things a lot easier. So I'm going to get cracking. I am I think I'm going to just work on the actual mining areas uh, for now and not worry about this, this digging out. And I've got to dig out this top a little bit, I think. I'm not sure. I might just leave it like this, but uh, I don't think that it's going to be the smartest idea in terms of design to just leave it flat like that. So... Uh, we'll see where we're going to go with that, and I'll see you guys uh, when I've got my strip mine started. Alright, so, I'm um, back up here in this area. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've got myself an iron pickaxe, iron axe, and a couple other random resources on me. I, I uh, went to the nether to link up a portal for someone, and I ended up uh, falling in lava, so everything I had on me died burned, because... I was smart enough to take all my valuable tools and weapons with me. Uh, so I am now stuck with, like, nothing. <laughs> it's a good thing I was working on the mine, though, because now I have an area where I can go gather some more diamonds and get some more stuff. Uh, the person who I was linking up the portal for, he gave me a couple diamonds, so that'll help with that anyway, in terms of getting myself a diamond pick to speed up the process of mining and whatnot. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do myself some mining. Alright, so, I came over to the fish farm just recently to try and, uh, of course, you know, I'm just going to start getting notifications on the phone as soon as I start recording. Alright, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sleep uh, while I can. But yeah, so I came over to the fish farm. Uh, as I said in the last clip, I died, and that probably wasn't too fun. I mean, I have... I still have my looting 2 sword, but I don't have my looting 3 anymore. So, I uh, came over to the fish farm primarily to get some experience, because you can get XP when you're AFK fish farming, but uh, I was trying to work out why my AFK fish farm kept not working. <laughs> uh, essentially, I would uh, open these chests and they'd be filled to like there. And I'm like, okay, well, what's what's going on? Uh, it seems like it's filled up uh, quite a bit more this time. Let's see what we got. We got Sharpness 3, Respiration 2, and Bane of Arthropods. Uh, looting 2, Aqua Affinity, Bane of Arthropods, Protection. Oh, that has Fortune 2 on it. That'll be. I guess I could probably apply that to a pickaxe if we don't get anything better. Um, and we've got plenty of fish, so we'll throw that into the furnace array. Um, yeah, I guess I might as well grab. Anything else, uh, that'll be good for Elytra. I might as well grab these to bring them back with me. Oh, I ran out of inventory space. Alright, well, anyway, I'm going to bring some stuff back with me to the actual base. Um, get this fish smelted up, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so back over at the base here. I uh, just sort of, sort of tidied up my inventory. Uh, the internet's not doing the best right now. not sure why, but anyway... I'm going to grab up uh, as many diamonds as I can find for my base here. I thought I had more than 13. I, I had like 20 or something, but I guess... I guess I have less diamonds than I thought, which is not a good scenario. So, uh, I guess my crafting bench is here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and craft up another couple diamond pickaxes. And uh, we're going to try and enchant those. Oh, come on. Come on. The internet just does not want to work for me today. 
And then we'll grab ourselves a sword. And we're only going to enchant these items here. Come on. Goodness. When the internet's bad, the internet is bad. Good. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we have for token tools? We've got a bunch of shovels. So I'll just grab those. Come on. There we go. And we'll see what we get for enchanting. So the way I go about this, and I'll just sort of try and prove it here. So I put in the, the pickaxe, and we see what we can get. We can get efficiency 4, possibly 1 or 1. So what I'm looking for is silk touch or uh, fortune 3. So I don't want either of those, so we'll put that there. We'll see if we can get on the sword what we want. Fire aspect 2? No, we don't want any of that. So we're going to go ahead and just enchant one of these shovels with the efficiency 1. And there we go. So now we're going to try again. Oh, there we go, Fortune 3. It's exactly how, what we want. And of course we only got Fortune 3, but that's okay. We can always apply other stuff to it later. Uh, will this one give us Silk Touch? Wow, okay. The luck though. And that's that. Alright, so what do we get? Uh, efficiency 3? Not too bad. Seeing as that's pretty much our workhorse anyway. Um, like we, it's not not too bad. Um, what will we get on the swords? We only have 28 levels at this point, so we can't get the knockback too. But all right, so we're gonna hold off on that one for now. We'll put our resources away, uh, and I'm gonna get working on mining down there because we have five diamonds left. <laughs> we we need more diamonds, so I'll put everything away, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start mining. Alright, <clears throat> so here we are, we're recording, and uh, we got ourselves a new member of the server here, Kaney. Um, I just call him Kane at this point, but uh, we're going to go ahead and give him some uh, items here to get him started. Uh, there you go, Kane. Hope that helps. So Kane here, he's going to be, did you record when I just, <laughs> yeah, so uh, Kane here is the newest member on the server, and uh, he's going to be doing some YouTube recordings as well, um, and Hero says, did you do recording when I joined? Uh, unfortunately, Heroes, I didn't, but uh, at the same time, I don't think you have yourself a YouTube channel yet, so... <laughs> When you uh, when you decide to do some some YouTube, he's just gonna like dig himself a hole. But yeah, all right. Well, I'll see you later, Kane. I'm heading back over to my base. I'm gonna set up my inventory the way I like it again. Um, and I've just been doing some mining uh, up until Kane joined. So I stream, says Heroes. I know, but do you record? See, this was a formal introduction for the YouTube side of things. So from that mining session, uh, as you saw, I populated this a couple times and tore it down with my Fortune 3 pick, uh, which I just enchanted by the way, efficiency 4, Fortune 3, and Breaking 3, pretty pretty decent pick in my opinion. 
And this is all that I got from the mining session. Uh, so I put all the coal, redstone, and lapis, iron, like everything that could be blocked, I put into block form. Uh, and then obviously just the leftover bits I left as as is. So all of this uh, didn't even fit in the chest the way it was. I had to I had to make it blocks for things to start to actually fit properly. But now everything is definitely a lot more compact. But uh, just take all these numbers uh, for the blocks, multiply by nine, and that's the amount of orders that I've got there. Plus obviously the loose bits. So now that I'm done mining. Um, I mean, I'm not entirely done mining, I need to go mining again for more diamonds at some point. Um, but I think it's time I get myself a proper smelting system. I just set this up quickly. Uh, I'll, I forgot to add this iron and this coal to those numbers, but I'll do that uh, in a minute. I'm going to reorganize and whatnot, but it's definitely time I get myself a proper uh, smelting system set up. And I did want that to be in here, which means to... I mean, I'm going to set it up probably just in there for now, but uh, within the next couple weeks, we're going to have to get this place cleared out, flattened, um, get these walls built up and whatnot, so that we can actually uh, properly use this area the way that we're supposed to, seeing as this this is our base, not this little setup over here. That's just uh, keeping our items and, and whatnot. This is sort of... You know, it's it's just another starting area. It's just another like hub. I need to replace that piece of dirt with stone brick. That's gonna annoy me. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we've we've got a a big project ahead of us. I do know uh, a couple smelting system designs. Uh, the one that I have over at my old base uh, in the desert there is uh, an original design by well, I don't know if it's a original by him, but it is a mumbo jumbo design. It's where I've seen it. And uh, he's improved it since. Uh, and on top of that, he's taken a couple other smelting system designs and maybe either modified them for his or just made them entirely. So I've got to go ahead and figure out what those smelting systems are because they're much more reliable and uh, and just much, much faster. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to try and get working on building one of those over there. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so welcome back. Uh, we're over here in my little desert area, uh, start the uh, the old base. Uh, I think we really need to come up with a name for this place, uh, other than just the old base. Um, if you guys got any ideas, let me know in the comments down, down below, but I'm going to be thinking of uh, a name as well. Uh, so, anyway, the uh, farming, the farming, wow, uh, the smelting array, furnace array that I want to be setting up is pretty much, it's very similar to this, um, barring the fact that there's no redstone torches here because I took them out because I needed them. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> essentially what happens is you'll put your items in here and you'll put your coal in here and they would travel along these hoppers and then the comparator down here would detect the item in here, unpower the torch, that is locking all the the uh, next set of hoppers down here so then the item will fall through and into the furnace uh, for each side. Uh, so this basically gave you an array in which the items and coal were distributed evenly um, or whatever the uh, source of fuel was, not specifically coal, but and then uh, because they're distributed evenly everything gets smelted uh, that much faster and uh, like I've got a bunch of stuff in here right now I'm actually gonna take a bunch of this cooked food well as much as I can fit my inventory anyway uh, and uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build something very similar to this but there are a couple issues with this uh, array uh, the first issue is that uh, one of the furnaces at least at this length of the array just doesn't work. It just, I keep falling into this water, goodness. <laughs> but one of the furnaces, it just doesn't turn on. It just doesn't receive the coal or the the uh, the source of whatever I need to smelt. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. I don't really know if anyone is sure why, but if there is a reason that you do know of, uh, 
I have tried looking myself um, not very well. <laughs> I don't always do the most thorough research, but uh, I have done a bit of research. I couldn't figure it out. If you know why though that happens, you know, please let me know down uh, down in the comments as well. Yeah, so I needed a different design. Um, so I went over and I tried to design my own, but I'm not as good at redstone as I like to think I am yet anyway. <laughs> so I decided to go over to Il Mango's channel and uh, I got the world download and I watched his tutorial, so we're gonna go over there. Alright, so he Wow, that was a nice movement. Anyway. Uh, here we are uh, over in Il Mango's uh, Furnace Ray world that uh, he provided the download for. Not specifically to me, obviously. Uh, if you want the download yourself, go over to his video. Um, and I'll link that down in the description as well. <clears throat> but he, uh, here he has the input chests, the fuel chest, and then the output chest. This is just stairs, that's how you can access that chest. Um, and a lot of these stone block bricks and chiseled stone bricks and stuff, they're all unnecessary. That's just design uh, choices on his end. Um, but this here is your line, your input line. And it goes through this way. Um, and the comparator like detects the update here and sends the signal through and then it ends up locking all the hoppers or I think or unlocks I don't I can't really wrap my head around the redstone to be honest I think what happens is it okay so uh, these torches are here and I think this line inverts the torches which is got uh, which is on these blocks which are uh, powering the hoppers beside them okay yeah that's that's the logic behind it Okay, so yeah, so this redstone line is powering the hoppers beside the um, the blocks, which is locking them, so that items can't drop in, drop out of them, or whatever, or into them, or anything, or drop out of them. That's what it is. Uh, this is you know you guys are seeing firsthand. Kaz learn redstone, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So then, so this line, so once it detects the item here it's gonna go across this line and turn off these torches to unpower that line which will let everything fall down through into the furnace and I and then we've got it, uh, the same sort of setup here we've got the comparator detecting from this going into this torch which will uh, unlock these hoppers I think yeah it'll unlock these hoppers once that torch unpowers and when that unpowers this torch up here will power which will power all this locking up the top hoppers I believe so that nothing will drop down through I think yeah yeah so this this being powered will make it so that nothing after everything drops through like nothing else will drop through I think Anyway, we're going to pretend that I know what I'm talking about, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to keep this world open, um, and I'm going to go ahead and build it over on the ATF server. Alright, we're finally caught up. <clears throat> so, uh, next episode is when we're actually going to start building the furnace array. Um, I realized I was very disoriented and I had no idea what I was talking about. And this is what I meant when I've been saying that the first few episodes are always going to be rough. Okay, I thought those were all single chests for a minute. Just the way I was holding my, the way my mouse was. Okay, anyway, <laughs> nonetheless... So I am now caught up to present time. Um, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
all right, and this is the end of the episode. <laughs> so next episode is when we'll actually be seeing the smelting array. Um, I'm actually now caught up. I haven't built the smelting array yet. Uh, everything you're seeing in the background is current as of me recording this clip. So you can see what I meant <laughs> over the past couple episodes. Uh, this one included that when I said that these are going to be rough, it's going to be terrible, and I know it. It's just how things are. It's how things start. I'm just uh, getting a grasp, you know. I'm trying to tweak little things the way I'm doing everything. So, you know, I'm sorry. I do apologize that it wasn't very good, but the uh, next few episodes I am hoping will be much, much better. So, and I'm going to get five diamonds for ten slime balls. Holy crap. Cool. I will definitely be taking that. Um, that's going to be off screen though. So, <laughs> But I will uh, see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was definitely a little bit longer than previous episodes. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed the Tuesday upload. Um, I'm hoping that we can do some more Tuesday uploads if I keep the recording pace that I'm at. So I will see you guys later and have a wonderful day.